what is going on boys and girls of youtube bringing you another support gameplay uh, sadly that geb gameplay went up really late yesterday which made me not happy <laughs> like i wanted it to go up earlier and i just had a bunch of stuff going on yesterday so i did not get it uploaded earlier i actually got it recorded really early we got it edited early i just messed up so sorry about that uh, but today's video is mulan support i want to show you aggressive support style a support style that can actually carry games fairly easily yes sir we have the opportunity to carry this game or just to show you you know the strengths and, and what you can do you know Ali, Ali, we, <laughs> look at him, Ali, Ali, uh, <laughs> hi Ali, good boy, alright, so, with that being said, make sure you guys enter the chair giveaway before it's over, you guys got another 16 days, I think, till it's done, takes 5 seconds, just click, you'll see, not hard, uh, also make sure you hit the like button, and make sure you're subscribed, and we'll go ahead and jump into this game. Is that's what we're here for the game right? <laughs> with mulan or really any aggressive support you still want to stick with like a standard starter uh you're either looking at the sentinels i don't think benevolence is the best because you will be lo losing out on a little bit of the defense so you're looking at sentinels or war flag <clears throat> either or your choice sentinels gonna give you way more gold war flag gonna be a little bit more aggressive i'm gonna opt for sentinels because i think the gold is always more important you don't want to leech from your boys and you want to be able to play around them and do what you need to do so we are going to go into is this really cudgel one that's weird for popular uh we're going to go into blackthorn for our first item not a super tanky first item. Well, <clears throat> fairly tanky first item but not all defense you know it's not only defense and i'm actually going to opt for early beads this game and that's because they have an aquang so whenever a team has an execute and it's not the achilles or like a soul and achilles i tend to go beads you don't want to be getting killed because you don't have beats like you, you getting the 30 percent hp this this early in the game like before le level eight level seven <clears throat> it's not hard like they can get you that low super easy right hello hey, yo you real hello. 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 come on poop it so never clear this without your boy if you for some reason randomly go mannequins do not accidentally clear the buff Thank you. We want to make sure he last hits us. We get the extra seven gold. I wish he had it altered a little bit quicker. They went Naja support, so they also went for the aggression. He's going for the super aggression. Momentum. We have to let him clear. Come on, keep it. Gotta let him clear. Hopefully he took his dash. I'm trying to get away from the ring bounce. Should be good. <clears throat> nice. Let the creeps come up. Let the creeps come up. It should be good now. They got to lay in a little early, which was rough. I can go my three or my two. I think I'm going to go my or sorry, go my one or my my two. We're going to get out a lot of damage here. And if Cupid gets another stun off, so we have full pressure now, which is glorious. And Cupid gets the full cleat. It's the stun. That's massive. We got no ring bounce, so we're chilling here. He should start eating creeps. We're going to go for neutrals. Go for neutrals. Head on over and get the farm. We don't want to miss it. And this also helps us build our one and our two up a little bit quicker. We burned through a good amount of mana by bursting it down, but building up the passive and getting it to the, the second stage is massive for you. We got our health pot ticking, so we're okay there. Don't eat the stun. Make sure you never stand right in the way of the creeps. Notice how I kind of sidestepped it when he W key forward a little bit, and we're going to go for more newts. I see the set rotating, which is great, but I don't think that gank is going to be ideal right now. It'll be ideal here. If they warded us. I'm gonna play up. Eh, nice stun. Okay, so they don't have clear now. So he fully just wasted his clear, right? And we got our pull now. We're gonna pull him in. Should be able to kill him unless the stun comes back up. No, that's good. Oh, I messed up. Almost dropped the kill. <sighs> this guy's being a little over aggressive. He's gonna try to play me into the tower. Yeah. Nice. Oh, set, set. Nice try. I respect the try from set. It was just, I think he was hovering. Like, should I help? Should I help? Should I help? Realistically, probably not nice. We have purple. Our set should be good. I hope. Yep. So our set got their purple for free. I'm very low. My beads are up. I think we're good though. It's a level four aqua. Nothing big. Okay. If I knew the VGS, this is sad. So people probably think I know all the VGSs. I don't. <laughs> I only know that I'm going to actually stay for another minute. Uh, I almost have my item. I don't know all the VGSs. I only know the VGSs that I use. So I wanted to tell them to be careful over here. <laughs> and I can't do that because I don't know it. All right, we're chilling. I'm just playing for the next 100 gold. We don't want them to be aggro on us. 
He's level four. My Cupid's getting close to level five. Actually, he might not be getting close to level five. Nice. Okay, you're good, buddy. Oh, he shouldn't have eaten. He should have eaten it. All right. See you later. See ya. <clears throat> be careful since I can't VGS it. He does need to be safe, but we're good. We're in a really good spot. I'm gonna wait for a ward because we haven't really been warding. I didn't even ward early just because of our aggression. I wasn't afraid of it because it was an Al Kwong. You don't have to worry about Al Kwong ganks early unless you are over committing and losing the actual like 2v2 fight which we clearly were not we that cupid played it perfectly by the way uh if you end up watching this cupid you you being aggro and like uh heart bombing off of my pool and anaja was glorious like it was literally perfect no how does sobek die <clears throat> they got 2v1 too i honestly don't know how sobek dies there shouldn't be possible that is not what you want to see. I'm going to go ahead and grab a little bit of XP from him. And I'm going to make sure to use my two to build it up. Help him clear. I'm level five now. So we do have good kill potential. And we can outplay the Al Kwong ults and stuff with it. My Cupid's healthy. He has his ult. Yo, he's coming there. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I messed up. Oh, that was a good play. I just messed up. Uh, he said he was gonna gank. I'm saving my abilities because he said he was gonna gank. That heavenly was glorious. Oh, that sucks. Oh, can't get some. Unfortunate. Okay. Yep, that was bad. We're probably gonna die here. Like, I'm gonna be real with you. Nope, nice. Good disengage. Set's in. Set might have a big engage right here. I'm pulling this guy all just for the pure CC, plus he dashed. So huge. Set balling. Really good job from set. I think his dash is down on, on Merlin. Yeah. Wait, we're good. So my set is definitely the person I need to focus on besides my Cupid. My Scylla clearly doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> he just walked in, did nothing and died. It was kind of kind of cringy. Not the move. We want him to last hit. I'm going to go try and tank the wave for him. Oh, I was going to tank the wave for him. He's missing a full wave. No, Cupid. No. I don't want him to miss a full wave. <laughs> I want the, the Sentinels procs. Okay, so next is where we're going to start building into full, like, regular support. Not full, but, like, mostly regular support. So we're going to go Gauntlet of Thebes. Yes, it's, like, a second. Not a second. A it's a couple minutes late, obviously. You're not rushing yet, but it still has huge value. The item is insane. It'll give us a ton of HP and get us the defense and the auras we need. You can go Sav here if you're behind. If you aren't ahead like me, like I got first blood and everything, I'm ahead. If you're not ahead, you could just go into Sav. Okay. Trying to help him. I think this guy dashed. Nice. He did that. So my two's level up now, so I hit real hard. I'm like gonna get to the point where I'm unkillable here real soon. You can just tell by how tanky I am. Yeah, we're, we were gonna dive there, by the way. I had no problem diving that. <clears throat> so there's a chance I'm on his ult is down. It's a low chance, but there's a chance. So I'm just gonna get some pressure on this side of the map. Wait, he couldn't even ping that he's doing the this? It should be a kill, unless it's ult's up. It's ult's up. Probably not. Oh. Should still die. Oh no, the set really just kind of bamboozled. That's unfortunate. It's okay though. If uh, I was set right there, I wouldn't have gone in until the ult was dead. Because what you do is you slow the mana the second that ult goes away, and then you're chilling. Come 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 here. No, no. Oh shoot. We're not gonna do this now. So they're getting punished again in the mid lane. So we're gonna rotate over to help her. I'm gonna get a little ward out here. It's not exactly where you want it, but. Ooh, he got picked. That's bad. They're gonna go do his purple. So I'm gonna try to get over there and defend it. <clears throat> Dude, I'm getting trolled. This is bad though, I might die. He doesn't even have to execute me, I don't think. Oh, we're okay. 
Oh, we actually just styled on them so hard. All right, we get a double kill out of it. Glorious. I just absolutely popped off on that for knowledge with the hard side step. Oh no, our solo has TP. If you're a solo laner going TP is not the move right now. You get way more out of like early beads and early blinks. Oh, but maybe he caught him. Come on, Sobek. Come on, Sobek. He doesn't have blue, so he's going to get out. Oh no, dude. That's so sad. Feels bad, man. Squiggly turd out here. Oh, we got him. Good shit. Good nice job, Sobek. All right, I'm gonna go over and try to help my Cupid a little bit. Maybe get him some pressure or kill. He did get counterpicked by the on her. So, like I'm not at all blaming him for any fights that don't go his way in terms of like 1v1s or 2v2s. Uh, he played the early properly. Like, like he really did. I think this Naja is looking for mid again. They're probably gonna try to punish this mid laner because he's not good. <clears throat> All right, he jumped this way. Got Naja coming underneath. I'm just gonna go do his neutral farm, and then I'm gonna rotate the mid. I do have my item now. I saw got myself my Thebes, so we want to get that online right away. Like it's really important to have that online early. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize he was low. He said enemy missing. Oh. Okay. Okay. Keep it with the rotation. I respect it. Maxing R2 because it's going to be our biggest heal. It's going to be a lot of damage as well. Okay. Oh my gosh, that Naja is low. I'm low. I'm going to get out of here. I have to get out of here. If my team dies, I'm dropping the red buff. All right, so Scylla dies. So I'm going to drop the red buff so they can't invade it for free. We're super low. That sucks. We just did, we missed too many abilities. It's gonna be really hard to win our team fights because of the like solely because of the Scylla. This is very greedy. Oh, he got me. That's a good stun. <clears throat> Unfortunate. All right, we got our item. We got a ton of gold, ton of farm. We're very online and we're ahead. So we can look for like hyper aggro items, uh, items that'll help us do more damage, but also be a little tanky. So you go like shifters in situations like that, where you just keep pumping damage, um, but also have some survivability. You go sledge, all those items. I'm going to try to stick more true to the support role, which is what, what I think you should be doing, even when you're ahead. So we're going to go into the Pridwin. It'll give us CDR, and then the upgraded Pridwin will be really, really strong. I'm more than likely going to look at grabbing magic defense uh, as the item after this, like pure magic defense, like a Bulwark of Hope. Or an Anchile, but the Anchile one of health. So we'll probably go Bul Bulwark of Hope because I don't want to get killed by the Quang Merlin combo. It's a lot of damage. <clears throat> it is a lot, a lot of damage. We have a great dive for the Merlin, but with the fact that our Scylla just keeps standing here eating every ability, it's really difficult. I might be able to kill this guy. Yeah. Yep. Body blocking the best we can. That was a good stun for immunity. We're going to try to get the Quang off of him. He dashed over here, I'm pretty sure. Oh, no, he dashed back to the tower. Well, <sighs> messed that up. It sucks. An ally has been slain. Oh, no, they just keep getting solo, dude. Please tell me beads. Okay, if you don't have beads in that situation, you can't play up like that. Like, you, you literally cannot. Missed. Oh, that was bad. That was a misplay for me. If you know he has execute and you can't do anything about it, you got to play back. You got to pluck. Oh, that would have been beautiful. Nice try. My mid is just so far behind. I don't even want to split from him. I feel bad. The dash. We're doing the two to heal and we're gonna go help him do his buffs we'll grab red we'll grab all the neutrals i'm just gonna try to stay ahead i mean okay he needs to buy some wards here too okay he might be able to kill this guy he might just die to the tower to be honest they should kill him i'm trying to play like middleman here yeah oh he's doing red that'll be mine I'm probably dead here. Oh, they didn't kill the Vamana? 
Oh my gosh. I, I don't know how they did. How did they not kill the Vamana? Oh no, no, no. That's not good. I just strongly assumed that the Vamana was <laughs> dead. I'm actually going to pick up an Ankh. So they have healing on the honor, healing on the Quang. Quang's build's actually terrible, by the way. Uh, healing on the honor, healing on the Quang, and healing on the Vamana ult, and he's squishy. So I'm going to go into the Ankh here. I'm actually going to upgrade it early, so maybe we'll win a team fight off of it. Because I don't think my Pridwin is going to be the reason we win a team fight. But having the upgraded Ankh for those three might be. Mostly for the Vamana. Like, I'm, as soon as Vamana ults, I'm going to Ankh him. If we're on him, if we're able to kill him. I'm still stacking because we haven't just sat around farming at any time. Like, there's 26 kills in this game in 14 minutes. That's crazy. And my mid is still not warding. I need to, I'm going to try to get him some wards out. If you're dying, you're 0-6. Your literal job is to ward and survive. Like, that's it. You aren't supposed to be rotating anymore. You're not supposed to be doing anything special. Your job is literally ward and live. If you can't do that, then you really shouldn't be playing Smite. I'm going to be honest with you. Like, this is not what you should be playing if you're feeding and you don't understand that that as your job. Enemies have returned to base. <clears throat> Damn, this guy's just gone. Okay. I'm afraid of leaving the mid laner for too long. Sounds bad, but yep, there it is. Oh, hopefully he misses a stun. Nope, because the dude doesn't sidestep at all. He throws his ult out for no reason, which is terrible. I think this guy... Uh -oh. Hit. I beat his early here. It's bad. Hit. We're good there. I only ran straight out because I beat Zerli to get out of the slows. Nice. That's eh, just a support. That's not really that good. Feels bad. Grab wards on our way out of here. We're going to try to save up for the Prid one. It's pretty cheap. Only 100, 600 more gold. 800 total gold. Nice job, guys. <laughs> the Vamani got caught out there. Like, he overcommitted, and I don't think he realized he was onked. There's no way he's diving a tier 2 onto the support if, he's, if he knows he's onked. Oh. You must be hunting because you are afraid of power. They're on this red too. I'm gonna try to get a good engage off my ultimate. Okay, still a messed up here. We should be able to secure though. Good job. We need to farm. So we're down 2,000 gold. I know your brain says like, yo, farm, farm, farm. No, 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 no. <laughs> or it says fight, fight, fight when they're walking at you or if near you, no. Because some of them have backed for sure at that point. I need you to kill this. Oh my gosh, I got the last hit. I need the assist, man. I'm going to try to baby seven a bit before I back for Pridwin. Uh, but yeah, right there, when you get an objective and you, you like get what you need out of it, you need to chill. There we go. We're trying to stack our passive. Like, it, it really... Not our passive, sorry. Our uh, Thebes. We need to stack it badly. Oh. He's probably dead. I did that to immune that. That was a really good play, actually. Holy shit. Really good play. I'm not gonna lie. I don't want to say, like, nice job, because I don't want him to think I'm trolling him. But, like, that was actually a really good job of him. Oh, shit. Okay, we're okay right now. Nice. I'm onking just because I think I'm going to die. I don't know how much it's going to help the Sobek. He's just not really doing too much damage right now. Actually, he is doing a good amount of damage, but I can't keep diving with no beads. I'll give it to try. It's not worth it at that point. So we're going to grab more wards. Notice we're we're literally like our job is to keep vision up and keep control of the map. It's very hard to do when your team's not helping you. Uh, I'm actually still uh, by wards. Got to tell him to buy wards. Your left tower has been destroyed. Cancel that. Attack fire giant. I think fire might actually be free here. Yeah, I'm warding my butt off. Okay, they just killed one of my wards. Yeah, this could be free. Like we do a lot of damage. Yeah, it should be free. So I called that to go to this because we saw the honor pushing weapon, right? 
I saw Naja shoot across the the map over to that side like something was gonna happen. So as soon as that happens, we're uh, we're chilling. I'm trying to catch his dash. Oh, he caught his own dash. I don't have my onk though, so use it. Nice dash away. Good play. That's a good good job getting his all just getting him to waste it. He's counter warding, which is fine. Cause I have a counter ward. Oh my gosh, that would have been a kill actually. It would have been a long kill, but it would have been a kill. Nice try. Good attempt. Like I said, we're going to look for some magic defense next. Honestly, I do have enough health out of these two items that going into a mantle or a spirit robe might be better. Spirit robe. I think I might go spirit robe. I think we might go spirit robe to get, uh, make sure we hit our cap CDR. He heals a lot. I need an anti heal as well outside of the onk. He's just going full lifesteal. Oh my gosh. Okay. Build, they're going to take our red. <clears throat> so I lied to you here. We're going to go the pestilence uh, as much as I want to go those other items. It's just not going to be possible because he's purely, he's going stun of fall next to him. So the Quang's going to be impossible to kill. Oh no, 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 no. Sweetest or sweetest sweaker. No! Come on, wards, boys! Trying to help in the back, but he's probably just dead because of the haste in. He doesn't know what he's doing. Nice jukes, actually. We are under our Phoenix losing this fight. It's so sad. I'm gonna see killed. No, the slows. Dude. No, how do you miss all that? Ah, uh, this game is probably over. They're just running at us. It's it's a big issue with builds right now. Like going into Karn's coin is not good anymore. You have no power with Karn's coin. Good root. Karn's going out the move. The warlock staff. I actually don't mind the warlock staff because he's not doing bad at all. But he is not gonna get as much out of that as he thinks he is. As you can see. <laughs> As he dies three seconds later. Oh, kill the Naja! Nice. Actually, he might live. Yep. Wow. And you just should have swapped to the honor. So that dash in was super dumb and greedy, and he should have swapped to the honor, even though he wouldn't have killed him anyway. There we go. Good job, Cupid. Clean up kill. We're just kind of inting over and over again. This is really bad. And this 100% stems from no wards and playing up over and over again. That This is why Scylla is 0-9. It's not because... Oh, uh, Scylla's bad, or the other team's good, or like my teammate. Like, if you're Scylla in this game, you watch this game back, it's 100% your fault that you're 0 9 because you didn't ward at all this game. You just stood up, you tried to clear the wave, and you would die over and over and over again. And once you die once to it, that should be your alert. You're okay, I messed up. We go ahead and get some vision out, right? If it's not, that's a problem. them both he's big man <laughs> he's definitely big man this guy has a two level lead on me now too which is just really sad i'm still top damage which is uh you know it's not that awkward. what are you doing bro okay confused i'm confused <laughs> just dip to go out to keep it all righty i we can't even just group here is the sad part we literally can't just group because their coin is level 20. Mm -mm -mm -mm. They're going to set up for gold. Defense the gold fury. So it just walks up and eats the stun, which is not good. Doing a pretty good job avoiding damage, though. Wish I had my pestilence finish. There's his bulwark. Okay, that's a good leap from him, and he's gonna insta-die. And our subex not here, so I need to try to keep this guy alive. It's gonna be nearly impossible. I think they just heaven lead. I just got a triple knock up. We're just getting burnt to death. Alright, I wasted my beads. Yeah, this is gonna be a GG game. Oh my gosh, cheese it. What are you doing, buddy? Hero and ten. That's rough. There isn't there isn't much you can do in this situation as a support. 
literally nothing you're going to be able to do to force your team to come back into a game like this. It's just not possible. It's essentially 4v5 in a way, but because my Cupid is also having like a rough game, like he's not doing terrible. He's having a rough game. Almost like a three and a half versus five. This is just, this is unacceptable. It's, you can't die once every two minutes. Can't do it. <laughs> You can't do it. If you're winning fights, like they're over committing to you and you're dying and then your team's killing all of them, that's fine. That's a completely different story. Like if this man was 0, 10, and 20 and we were just winning every fight because they were going on, that's a completely different story, right? But with this, the best thing you can do, grab whatever farm you can as a support. Um, I don't really want to take too much from the Scylla, but at the same time, he's not doing anything anyway. So we're not, it's not the end of the world that we take a little bit from him um try to steal fire that will buy you time if you manage to steal it it'll allow your team to be closer in you know threats like even if you're behind you got okay i i don't know why he didn't come up in two that's all i was waiting for <laughs> that's literally all i was waiting for so sad uh, so I'm not going to actually ward the fire exactly. I'm going to ward above it. And that is just so they're going to control this, right? They are going to control fire giant. There's like, him walking up here. Is stupid. I don't know what he's doing. He, can, he hits some of the ability does five damage. Um, they're going to control this entire area just because they're so far ahead. And if I put a counter ward on fire, they're just going to counter ward it. They're going to reverse counter ward it. Oh, we're going to have no vision, right? Oh, he might be dead. Get out, get out, get out. Nice. Got our pestilence. So because of that, I placed a ward high where they're probably not going to find it. We'll know a little bit more information and I won't just be wasting a ward for no reason. Like, honestly, if you're going to ward on fire there, it's just better to not ward. Better to just hold it. They're going to go over fire. Oh, they have Phoenix. I forgot. It's not good. Oh, they're looking for kills. That's crazy. They should be going straight for the fire. Uh, this could, if they play this really poorly, it could be them ended up throwing pretty hard. It's almost like they're in comms too. Like they're way too grouped up. And I'm gonna be real with you guys. Like playing with your friends and having fun in Conquest, go for it. But if you're three, four, five man queuing and you're sweaty comming it up. It's a yikes from me, dude. I don't think they're, oh, I didn't think they were gonna commit to that. They did that so fast. Good damage from Scylla, but it's not enough. This is a lost fight. It's a bad fight. One person really should just be going in to try to steal. The Scylla going in is not the worst. Their respawn time is not huge. Because uh, stealing it would buy us so much time. Okay, I think Quang is looking for me. Wish I had Blink. Because now I have to like actually hide from this guy. Alright. <laughs> I had to like, I had to make sure I actually did hide from that guy. I wish I see we can't really defend either without magic damage. No mage. Oh, but Mana has no ult. He's pretty low. Mm, sucks. I saw it from Cupid. Good try. A lot of damage. Dead though. Nice try. I'm still top damage. I don't want to still be top damage. I want someone else to be doing damage. Oh, yikes. Feels bad. So, yeah, when you don't steal the fire there, the other team should be able to end the game. Realistically, they're playing it safe. They're getting their last their last tower. They should get the Phoenix in mid for free. Uh, but they should be able to end off of this push without backing unless they really mess up. Good peel from Sobek. And he's dead. And he's dead. Worst thing is, so it looks similar to Hebo, where if you just farm, even if you're behind, like if you farm enough to catch up, like in the late game, you get full build or you get five items and you get to level 20, you can really just turn the game. Like you, you aren't missing out on that much. Let's try. He's big dead. Sucks. I don't really want to go on him. Nice job. He wasn't healing for shit. I almost don't want to defend this because the game is over, but I'm going to try because, you know, who has beats? All right. Well, they're dead. <laughs> they are goners. No shot. 
to make this reset. I don't have my beads, so I have to be a little careful. Bro, that's just embarrassing at that point. You know, like, that's pretty sad. <laughs> they keep resetting us. They're trolling, dude. They're trolling. Oh, shoot. I don't want that. I want to go to this. Oh, hit me. Ah. He's gonna execute me. No. No. Okay, we're good. <laughs> we're okay. I on, so maybe he gets a kill. Nope. That's so sad. Nice. Imagine they somehow through this game. That'd be hilarious. I don't, I don't think that's possible because they have every Phoenix. Uh, but people do this so much that they just start trolling instead of ending games, man. It's like the most common thing ever for no reason. All right, so we're going to go into our, our spirit room. You could go into mantle here. Mantle is really good as well. Uh, both will work. Mantle gives me a little bit more defense. Spirit Robe gives me the CCR and it also gives me the proc, the passive. I think that proc is going to be a little more valuable because of getting stunned by Naja, uh, getting knocked up and getting stunned by on her. I think it'll be a nice little way to counter play around that. So we'll probably go Spirit Robe. Plus we'll have it earlier. Fire Giant will be up soon. I, there's no way we actually defend fire. Like with our Phoenixes down, they're going to be respawning a little after the fire spawn so there's just no way it's impossible yeah we get it you're tanky dude so am i buddy I'm trying to make sure he doesn't ult my solo <sighs> so sad we're both tanky boys oh he's like the same build as me almost except for he went sov oh and i had to go pestilence he got to go bork so he's actually a little bit tankier than me Lucky him. So Scylla's almost almost level 20, only 13 deaths. She's going rod now, which uh I really am just not a fan of the overall build at all. She's not really going what anybody's building in SPL level at high level in the mages. And mage builds at an SPL level are, are pretty standard for the most part. Occasionally there's some variation, but pretty standard. Might have just got baited. Yeah, I'm okay. so slow dude did i do so much damage it's 1v3 and i get him that <laughs> it's on hers mad because he got clobbered in lane while i was there oh feels bad dude still top damage gg vvgg that's a good try from the boys and by good i mean not so Stella, if you happen to go back and watch this game Oh, and Set didn't go anti-heal? That's also bad. I mean, he didn't throw this game by any means. But, uh, yeah, you gotta go. You gotta go. Brawlers against their team comp. If Scylla had a better build and warded, that game would have been nowhere near as bad for him. Like, I promise you, nowhere near as bad for him. So if you're struggling, try those things. Try using a better build. The Smite Source build. Um, and then also try uh, warding. You won't do a third of your support's damage <laughs> if you do this. But this goes to show you, like, I am a tanky build, right? Like, I mitigated 54,000 damage. I took 44,000 damage. I did 30,000 damage. I had 10 wards. I had more wards. Like, I had two more wards on me. I could have easily outwarded so back. Aggressive supports really do work. They work extra well when you're running another hunter that's able to be aggressive. But most hunters are able to be aggressive right now in this meta, which is good. So that is something for you to think about, something for you to try. Uh, just if you want me to run down a quick, like the Warriors, I would try, I would do that on. Uh, Mulan is by far like top, top for doing that. Erlong works. Alona can work, but I would say Mulan and Erlong are way ahead. Gilgamesh is also one of the best. So I'd say Mulan and Gilgamesh by far the best uh, for the aggressive, high damage-y type supports. Works with Hercules, works with Bologna, can work with Achilles. That's about all I'd really force run on because you need some kind of CC in your kit. And if you go with the other gods, you're probably not getting CC in your kit. So hopefully you liked the video. Hopefully you learned a little bit about supporting and where you should go and how you should play and the aggressive support style. 
I maybe if you have any questions, drop them in the comments. Let me know what god, what role you want me to run next in the comments below as well. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you're subscribed. Really, the like and the subscribe stuff are really important. So please do that. And I will see you all in the video later tomorrow. The next day, the next day, the next day, and the next day.